I'm Gemma. And I'm not. Oh, he's Vauxhall. Uh, anyway, welcome to Scene South TV, your only online show for all the things going on around the south of our lovely country. This is our special Christmas episode, so let's take a look at what's coming up in today's show. Today we have three exclusives for you. The first, an interview with the Hollywood director, Michael Apted, about the up-and-coming Narnia film. The second, a chat with former S Club member and star of the West End, John Lee. And the final exclusive for the show is a one-off performance from X Factor stars, The Reason. Hi guys, how you all doing? Uh... Be looked after in there, lads. But before all of that, let's have a little preview of the forthcoming events in and around the South. Southampton's Santa Dash is back on Sunday the 12th of December. The fourth running for this community charity event will be held at 10.30am on Southampton Common. The emphasis is on fun, as all competitors will be given a Santa suit to compete in. The entry is uh, free, or £12, and this will include your Santa suit and competitor's medal. At St Mary's Stadium on the 17th of December, a very special carolling event in which the City of Southampton will try and break the Guinness World Record for the largest crowd of up to 32,000 people singing carols at one venue. Time now to meet and greet our first guests on Scene South TV. They are four singers from Southampton who have become an overnight success. Is it better? Is it worse? Always sitting in reverse. It's just like we're going backwards. I know where I want us to go. Driving fast now, let's go slow. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Lovely to have you in the studio. Lovely to be here. And you look really, really good on X Factor. Now, how was the actual process of X Factor for all you boys? It's quite stressful to be honest with you. Yeah. Is it's, it? Yeah, it's exciting it's, to be on there, but it's an emotional roller coaster. Mark, that That's found it the hardest. Emotional. I lost about half a stone at boot camp. You yeah. did it? Yeah, because you, like, you no. for your first audition, obviously you get feedback. <laughs> yeah. You know, so you know exactly what they think of it. Um, but at boot camp, you're there for seven days. Oh, well, six days, I think. Yeah. yeah. And they don't give you any feedback the whole week. So yeah. you, you don't know if you're coming or going. Obviously, they're knocking people out as yeah. we go along as well. Plus, they don't let you know it. Like when you're singing to like five minutes before so you sat around all day waiting it's, it's, like, it's like the yeah. nerves as well obviously where you've performed and it's up to the judges if you go through and stuff so you'll just wait and they leave you like you perform one day and then you won't get an answer to the next day so you're just, the whole night you're waiting and you're just thinking about Goodness if you're going to get through and, and poor stuff Mark's like a worrier anyway <laughs> yeah I worry all the time so. <laughs> but did you feel though with the way the X Factor's actually put together did it give you a sense of excitement in the fact that it wasn't you weren't totally given the clues as to how it was going to turn out yeah, because I think they were trying to sort of, uh, like keep people guessing, you know, and it, it was really yeah. They wanted just true reaction, you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. if they did tell you two days time you'd be doing this or you'd be doing that, and it kind of kills it, doesn't it? Just Plus, you, you're, yeah. you're like in a, we called it the X Factor bubble, didn't we? Because like you're in this whole bubble and you're moving so quick. Yeah. And then obviously we got through from boot camp and got through to the next sort of next st uh, stage of the show which is the judges houses yeah and then you know uh, and then we had to wait to, to go to find out where we're going etc like spain and then we're um so we're just you're constantly guessing so you can't really prepare for it so yeah. it, it's hard but at the same time fantastic experience yes. yeah. now i've had a little rumor because this can't be all kind of all work now, was there a rumour that you went to Simon Cowell's party or house for a party? They said, that, well, they they said that we had a little drink and we, we wrecked his house, but... No, what, you didn't. No, no, one, you don't even really get to actually sort of stay there. You stay in a hotel, which is down the road. But yeah. obviously one day we went in, they got us in the water and I um, was um, messing about in the sand. The they didn't sand, have towels yeah. for anyone to get changed. Really? And there was like a rug in one of the rooms, which was worth about 50 grand or something like that. Wow. And um, some of the other groups were getting changed. So we you, there was only one room that we could use, and it was for boys and girls. So we would like, take turns. So the room did get messy, yeah. as you can tell. Yeah. The women are really messy. All Scots makeup and that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, in all seriousness, what is Simon like? What is Mr. Cowell like? He's we, honest, we hear all these stories about you, him. You don't get what to see like? them as much as obviously they show, they make out on like the X Factor, but he's generally a nice guy. Obviously, he's got an aura about him which is quite powerful. So you get like you're quite nervous, but at X Factor he come up to come up to us after we actually performed, and he said. He was generally really sorry that we didn't go through and it was a harder decision he's had to make and stuff like that. So he does have a little bit of time for you. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. honest though, isn't he? What, yeah. what, you, what you see is what you get with Simon. Yeah. Yeah. He'll, he'll, if you, he'll tell you something, it'll be from the heart. He'll, he'll generally think that. If you're bad, you're bad. If you're good, you're good. So you yeah. know where you stand. What do you do? He's quite a short bloke. 
He's not that tall, is he? Yeah, he's only small. On TV, you think, oh, he's a big man. No, he's just. What are you trying yeah. to say? No, I'm quite sure what I was talking about. This is aura, isn't it? This is aura. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, he's big... a small guy, but he's got a lot of power. He can't yeah, 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 yeah. listen yeah. to what he says. When it, if he says something, everyone the crowd sort of does takes stop note of what he says. Yeah. What's um, coming up for you guys in the future? What can we see from you? Well, we've been working on our album. Uh, we've, our single's out, hopefully, the end of March, isn't it? Yeah. End of March, start of April time. <laughs> we've been working on an album. We've just signed a um, publishing deal with Sony ATV, which is great. And then we signed a management contract with Upside UK. So, yeah. yeah, it's all going up. So you must be really happy then. Yeah, it's well, brilliant. Well, X Factor's give us this platform to work yeah. off. You know, if we didn't yeah. go for X Factor, then we wouldn't be probably sat here today. We didn't want to sit so. down there, did we, and just, and just wait for someone to come to us. We got up and we um, started contacting people, yeah. got out there, started gigging, get our faces about. Yeah. And it, we've had great support from friends and family, and our management have been brilliant. And Fans have been and great, like Facebook and Twitter and stuff. And yeah. It is easy to be good. forgotten. Yeah. yeah. Once you come off a show like that, obviously it's done it every year. Yeah. But, no, we've, we're, we're determined we're not to be we've, forgotten. We, we thought, the, you know, after the audition, we got a great response. Um, yeah. We said loads of hits on like, YouTube, especially the, the Cheryl Cole song. Well, we wish you the, the best of luck with yeah. all of that, totally. And I'm much. really looking forward to seeing you on stage here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Lads, if you want to go and get yourself ready to perform, yeah. we'll see you later. Thanks Cheers, guys. No problem. Thank you. Excellent. Right, guys. So here's the reason with the new song, Good Night Girl. Promises to 